so let let me state what is the aim or what is the objective of the problem our objective or aim of the problem is that we are interested to find out the relation between unit vectors in the cylindrical polar system and the unit vectors in the cartesian system so that is the idea so let me write down here we can calculate like this if you take the a z unit vector take a cross product with a rho unit vector then that must give you a phi so that gives you let us substitute this a z a z will be a z only you keep that a z cross you write down the entire equation for the a rho and that's all now you have to simplify so therefore let us keep this as a y here then you have a plus sin phi into z cross y i vector i vector is ax because ijk if you are familiar i will be equal to ax on the right hand side it is the same thing we are going to get a phi so let us rewrite this this is the equation that you are looking for so 3 4 is there so therefore this must be 5 So we got the final answer now. Equation number three comma four comma five. What did you finally find now? We have found out equations using equation number three to five. So if I have equation number three to five with me, I can do this kind of transformation. That is what all we understand from this calculation. Let us now see how do you usually write a vector. Let us see that. So, how do you write this? There will be a row component. That means the radial component. The row component is in the direction of row. Plus, there is a azimuthal component. Azimuthal component means the component in the phi direction. So, that will be in the phi direction. Plus, there will be a component in the z direction. That's all. First you write the row components, after that you write the phi components, then you write down the z component. But remember, by writing this, this fellow, that is the a vector, doesn't change. A vector quantity, whatever be the vector quantity, that will not change because of your coordinate system. Okay, so let me now draw a simple diagram, so that you can see what is actually happening. So let us come down. And if I am going to draw a diagram now, cylinder, I will show this as a point P. I can write down that this is P of x, y, z, which is identically same as the point in the row phi and z. So, is it clear now? Now, you have a point on the surface of the cylinder. So, the P will be the same as the P. P will not go to Q. Are you able to see this? This is P. I did not change this to Q. I am still keeping the same P only. P is P only. But what is changing? What is changing is X, Y, Z has been changed to Rho, Phi, Z. That is what is changing. So, transformation, remember that the transformation is for the independent variables. Okay. What is meant by independent variable? The one which is written inside the bracket. Is this point clear? That is why I am now explaining, coming back to this, I have written here same. So, this is the same vector means, your vector will not change because of the coordinate transformation. Here, there is something called A. Let me put a box here. There is a A vector. So, where is the A vector in the diagram? So, A vector is now clear. Starting from the origin, you stop at the point P, then whatever arrow that you have, you have to draw arrow. This is the arrow that I am showing. So, that arrow will be the A vector. This vector will not change because of the coordinate system. This concept is very important concept in the coordinate transformation. Our conclusion is that the vector itself doesn't change because of the coordinate transformation, but the independent variables, namely x, y, z, rho, phi, z, etc., will change due to coordinate transformation.
that that is the conclusion so let me write down that so this is very important concept so let us now see what is what's the mathematical definition for a vector a vector is a physical quantity whose components are transformed according to the coordinate transformation law and at the same time the vector itself is invariant under coordinate transformation here what do you mean by invariant invariant means doesn't change does not change means invariant the components of the physical quantity will change according to some prescribed rule it will not change randomly according according to some rule only it will change what rule it will change is the, here the answer is there according to the coordinate transformation law so what is what do you mean by the coordinate transformation law that's what are that is what exactly we have been doing in the last two classes you have written down some equations here for example you have this equation here the equation number 3 4 5 all these equations that you have written is only to understand what is this law transformation law so that is that is the meaning of the transformation law and now uh, you have an overall idea about what is the mathematical definition of vector this is an accurate mathematical definition of vector and that uh, that uh, speaks about the invariant property of vector and at the same time it tells you that the components will change this is the first very fundamentally important point the second thing is that you now know what is the relation between the unit vectors and the two coordinate system and therefore you know in principle how to make a transformation from one to the other we will take an example of how to convert how to do a conversion of the a vector in the cartesian system to the a vector in the cylindrical polar coordinate system how we can do this calculation this we will see in the next class